Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Harrowing by Zetamath. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules, which means in each row, each column, and each 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have arrows in the grid. That's our only constraint. So the arrows are always attached to a circle. Whatever digits go on the arrow, you sum them up, that's the digit that goes in the circle. So if this was, for example, 2, 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, this would be a 5. If it was 1, 3 instead, this would be a 4. And that's it. Um, this, I guess I should point out that arrows don't add any in additional non-repeat roll, although I don't know if that actually matters. Yeah, we can't repeat digits on any of these anyway, because they're all either in the same row, same box. But in general, arrow, you know, sometimes with sums, you will see that you can't repeat digits uh, in order to make the sums easier. That is not true for arrows. All they're telling you is sum the two there, put the sum there. Nothing about not repeating. But of course, we can't repeat here because they're in the same column. All right, that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, this is a usually not a place. Uh, so in nine by nines, it's not the best place to start. But in a six by six, it's a very good place to start. Um, well, OK, sorry. In nine by nines, it's a decent place to start. You can get some penciling on it. In a six by six, it's an amazing place to start. Why am I saying that? Well, the biggest digit we have is six and three digits. I mean, we can't repeat like they're all in the same row, um, can be one, two, three at minimum, which adds to six. And so this has to be one, two, three with a six here. This is four, five. And now our roping, which basically just says, hey, one, two, three needs to go somewhere in this box. So they end up down here and four, five, six need to go somewhere. So they end up here. So these three digits always go down here and these three digits always go up here. Now, two, um, two digits that can't repeat can't add to one or two. The minimum is three. So that's a one, two with a three there. So these can't be three. And then these are four, five, six. Now we can never put a six on a, a two cell or longer arrow because then it would be six plus something equals something bigger than six, which we could do. So this is one or two adding up to five or six. We could do one plus four is five at minimum. This is a one, two pair in the column. So where's the other one, two in this box? Cause it's not here. So it's gonna be here. And we need a three in the box, which goes here. So this has to be a one, two pair as well. This is four, five, six, that's not a six. So this is also a one, two, and this adds to five or six, but it can't add to six. So that's the five, making that four and one, making that two and one, making that a two with a four adding to six, that's five. We get the one and two here. We get the six here, and now we clean up. This is a six, these two are three and five. We know the order, three and five. That's four and five, that's not a three. Three in the corner, celebrating, that's one and two. All right, that was a lot. <laughs> May have gone a little too fast there. Uh, this is from four, five, six. That's not a five. Um, let's see. So we, what do we? What's the easiest place to go? Uh, maybe this sum here. We know it doesn't sum to three because this would have to be one two, and now we'd have way too many one twos in the box. We'd have way too many one twos in the row, right? It would resolve as one two like this, and there'd be nothing to fill in those. So because it's not three, there's only one place for three in the column, which is right there. Um, and now we know we can't put a three on it. So it can't be one, two, it can't be one, three. So it's actually not three or four. So this actually has to be a five. That's five, sorry, that's four, that's five. Adding to five without a three requires us to do one, four. We know the order, that's four and one, that's six and four, that's two and one, that's a two. We get the three, two, one over here. We finish with a three and a six and we're done. All right, nice arrow puzzle, Zeta. As usual, uh, we got the Zeta flow. <laughs> so we started here and we just kind of worked our way around the grid and, and finished the puzzle nicely. All right, cool. Well, um, very nice adventure puzzle. I enjoy that that difficulty for adventure. We want to be able to give a, a nice snack to those who are experienced and a nice uh, learning experience for those who are new. All right, well, um, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.